Welcome GibbsCam users. Today we're going to show you how to use post haste. And for those that don't know what post haste is, that is a post processor that you have access to. And these are free post processors for those that run GibbsCam software. Now normally customers, when they purchase Gibbs or a new machine they add and they're already a user, they buy the post processor directly from GibbsCam. But you do have access to what they call post haste post processors. There's a couple hundred of them in there with the software uh, in Gibbs, and those are totally free. So in order to get to those, let's show you how to do that. Let's first open up our Windows Explorer, and let's go to our C drive. Now normally you have program files, program 8.6, and we want to see the one that says program data. And most Windows um, PCs, Windows 10, Windows 11, don't show the folder program files. We need to tell Windows to show those files. So Windows 10, I believe it's under the view and options, but this is Windows 11 I'm running here, so that will be under the three dots and options. So once you click on that, you'll see a window open up and you want to go to the tab that says view. And this is the default here to don't show hidden files and folders or drives. We want to go show hidden files, folders, and drives. Then don't forget to click on apply. Click OK. And now you'll see the program data folder. So if you double click on that, you will see uh, all your folders, all your programs that are in your PC. What we're looking for is the Cambrio folder. Now, if the older Gibbs Cam will be under 3D systems, but the newer ones, 2022 and uh, 23, etc., will all be under the Cambrio folder. So if you double click on that, go to the Gibbs Cam folder, and here's all the different versions I have loaded on my PC old ones to new ones. Now, the newest one, so you want to choose the one that you're using. So in this case, 23040. So I'm going to open up that. And you should see a folder that says post haste. Now if you open that folder and go to the library, you'll see a couple hundred post processors from Acromatics to Allen Bradley's. You'll see even old Bandits, Bridgeports, Centroid, like uh, Miltronics, Cincinnati's, Deco Malho, Dynapath, Fidel's Format 1 and Format 2. A lot of fanics here from 0M to clear go up to 18, like 18i, etc. And all the fanics, the 16s and 18s, will also run on 31i, 32i's, etc. Uh, they all use the same, pretty much the same code there. Go down to GEs, Haws, you have a number of Haws here for lays and verticals and horizontals, Heidenheins. Kitamuras, Matsura, Mazax, Mitsubishi, Mianos, Akumas, you can see Prototrax, Protolite, Shizokas, a lot of Yasnaks there as well. So you have a really large library of post processors that's already loaded when you load the Gibbscam software. So normally I will take these and copy them all and put them in a folder on my hard drive or have easy access to them rather than having to go to program data to find them. So I've already done that and so we'll show you how to use that. So let's close this. So in order to use post haste, I have an icon up here already. Now normally it's under the plugins folder as you can see down right here. So what I did is I just right click up here, go to customize toolbars and menus. Wait for that to pop up and I'm going to type in post haste. And you'll see it appear right here. So I just took this and I drag it up to wherever you want to put it. I just put it right at the end there. So I have easy access to it. So here I have my part. This is a, just a standard milling part here. If I rewind it and play it, you can see my part here. So when you program Gibbs, you program it normally just as you would do with any other post processor. Nothing has really changed that Programming is exactly the same. Operations are the same. Uh, everything you've done is the same here. So let's go to post the code. So I'm going to click on post haste. And it's going to bring up this window right here. First of all, you need to find the template that you want to use. So click on browse. 
It's not under the standard post processor right here. This is normally where we post using the Gibbscam post processors here. So this is the screen you normally see for that. This is under post haste. So click on post haste and click browse to find the template. And I already put these under the downloads. So let's go down to, let's just choose a simple Haas post, just a vertical, click open. And then of course, where you want to store the NC code that you're gonna create. I just called it post haste NCF. So then click on process. And it's going to first ask you, it's a little bit small here to see on my screen. I have a larger screen, but uh, uh, not quite a higher resolution. These will be bigger. So my program number, I'm going to just put a thousand. Click OK. Then it wants to know the work offset we're going to use. I'm just going to say it's G54. Let's make that a capital. and click OK. And then it's going to, let's say click OK. And there's my code here. So you can see my program number there, the tool change, etc. This is the uh, volume mill tool pass, so that's a little bit long there. Let's scroll down to the bottom where we can see the other tool changes. So here is operation number two. This is our finished tool path there. Looks good. And then we get into the drilling cycles here. So we're doing a tool change again. And here's your can cycle for uh, drilling. Another one for uh, drilling again. A few other ones here. Here's your tapping. And some more drilling. Spot drilling, drilling, tapping. And then, of course, the last we're doing the corner router there. So you can see it's a pretty good tool path here. So... The nice thing about post haste for the standard user is you can modify the post haste and how you want your post processor to output. So in this case, you can see I have T1M6. Now let's say I wanted to change that and have T1M6 on the exact same line. So let's close this. And on my post haste format here, I'm gonna click on edit format table. And it just gives you a warning, of course. So go ahead and click OK. It's going to bring that up. And here is your post haste, the internal guts of the post haste. So you can modify those any way you would like. And we'll show you a little bit on uh, where you can find some help on that. But if you go down a little bit, you can see the uh, first tool change or start code. So this is basically the start of the program here. As you can see, it has T and then, the, of course, it's going to call up the tool number that you have in there and M6 on the, the second line. So I'm just going to go right here and delete. So M6 is on the exact same line. I'm going to close this and save it. And then again, I'm going to post again. So I'm going to click on this again. And it's going to ask me the program number again. I'll just put a thousand there. Click OK. And the work offset number, that's fine. And click OK. And it says there's something wrong in my template file. So let's go back and figure out what's wrong with that. So here's my post haste that said I had an error in there. The problem is, is I have the M6 right next to here. There needs to be a space. So I'm just going to space that. Close this again. Save the changes. And then we're going to post again and look at the code. Now, as you can see, I have my tool change and M6 on the exact same line. So you can add anything you want. Uh, coolant on the same line if you'd like. You can change to have the X go first and Y second or X, Y and Z all in the same line. So there's a number of things you can do. You can modify it any way you'd like. So let's close this. Now, in order to get to the uh, post haste, a uh, little bit of information there, there is a uh, PDF that you can download from Gibbs and some of them might be on your Gibbs cam software already. And so here's the manual, kind of goes through the manual there on formatting basics. And there's, I believe there's a couple of uh, PDF manuals for this, but tells you how to format it, make changes, etc. So 
Uh, you can do anything that you'd like on here. Now again, these aren't quite as sophisticated as the ones that you purchase from Gibbs, but it will give you the post processors and you can customize it any way you'd like. You can also go to the website for uh, more help and it's just uh, www.postprocessor.com and I'll bring it up here to show you. So this is the website here and as you can see there's a number of tabs here, how it works, things like that, some uh, sample code, some uh, information on how to make the changes, upgrades, you can request a quote to have them change it if you'd like. Um, a number of different things here, but this might be a good resource uh, to find more about post haste and what you'd like to do with there. Let's close that. And as again, there should be three manuals for this. Let me bring up the one of them here. There's this manual here. It's about 28 pages. There's a reference manual. This is 132 pages. and another PDF that has uh, the limitations on uh, the post haste. But anyway, this is a good resource for different post processors. And like I say, everybody wants to edit their post processors and that's fine. Use post haste and you can edit those any way you'd like. And hopefully this helps you a little bit on uh, post processors and how to go about uh, using your own and making changes. And thank you for watching.